Well, you may not know this, but children here in California don't have to go to kindergarten. The plan to make it mandatory was then vetoed by the governor over the weekend. But as KCAL 9's Tina Ezzedine shows us, supporters say they'll keep trying to make this change. And we're going to open the book. Open, open. Often regarded as a building block in a child's development. You're setting you know, the stage for all their learning, right? You know, you're, you're having kids transition to more structured learning, right? Uh, more structured schedules, sitting in desks, you know, doing, you know, doing work. Uh, and so the, the more that they're prepared for that, the more that they've been exposed to that, you know, the more likely they're going to be successful. Making kindergarten mandatory has just been blocked by the governor. I am extremely disappointed that the governor vetoed this bill. State Senator Susan Rubio is a former teacher and current author of Senate Bill 70, which would have required children to complete a year of kindergarten before entering the first grade. Currently, California does not mandate it. Supporters of the bill think it should. We have very specific skills that students are expected to know by the time they get to first grade, and that's where the disparities start. In a Sunday letter, Governor Newsom wrote to state senators, his name handwritten, explaining why he's returning Senate Bill 70 without his signature. Cost impacts of up to $268 million, not currently accounted for in the state's fiscal plan. The governor adds, with our state facing lower than expected revenues over the first few months of this fiscal year, it is important to remain disciplined when it comes to spending, particularly spending that is ongoing. So if we're, we're not going to be making that a mandatory requirement, there are kids that are going to fall through the cracks. Senator Rubio vowing to reintroduce the bill next legislative year. It's not done because I'm not giving up. Uh, ready? Oh, good job. Providers of early education and after school programs such as Maryvale in the San Gabriel Valley believe it is fundamental to a child's success. Cutting state costs now. Are we doing what's best for our kids? Now the itsy bitsy spider can kind of spot it. But at what price for the future? In Rosemead, Tina Ezzedine, KCAL 9 News.